is up? This is the book. Today we're going to be making a reaction video to episode 4 of Making a Sailor today. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe and subscribe to this channel. Please continue to get it. We're getting 150 subscribers for Christmas. We're getting there. Let's keep adding subscribers. Get there. And let's hope we get there. Thank you. Look at the camera. Look at this bear. This is the bear vlog you've seen my live stream. Here's the bear. What's up, bear? What's up? Says, hi. Let's go. I wake up every morning and I'm like, I'm really in Navy Blue. Yeah, you are. Good morning. It's messing up. We're stuttering. It's stuttering. It doesn't feel like And if you have that, look at that screen. If you want to pause this video, look, look there is the and things and you have to say like, right there on clip for your watch. If you want to practice that, it's right there on the screen. Shaved this morning. Or within the last hour. Shave that morning. Shave in the morning. Now if we're you can shave before, shit, and it's a high shave. Because there are so Roughly. many more pairs of eyes looking at us. Yeah. Um, it's stressful at the moment. I'm trying to get um, used to it, I guess. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of used to it, so it may take a little bit of time to get used to it. Two days where we were coaching most of the time to week one where we were holding them accountable. It scared a few of them that they weren't going to be able to meet the standard that we yeah, expected. Everybody's scared. I was worried. You make it, everybody gets worried though when you're not making it. You can't yeah, have that You ready to quit? You want to quit? I can get you out of here. We can keep you out of there, yeah. All recruits really can just pick them up. Get you out of here. They're going to say that. I can get you out of here if you want to. Don't quit. Trust me. You're going to get training, out there a lot sooner if you graduate really really and go through steps. It's mostly through a steps. mindset. When someone's in your face yelling at you, they'll have a hard time doing 10, 15 push-ups, and they kind of start to quit on themselves. Don't quit. They need to. Keep it. Keep going. Don't quit. It's not going to be that bad. Don't quit. You're just quitting. Come. Get over here. What side of the open side of the It's literally how you fold still. Like fold still. So why is your Skinny fat fat. Skinny is going to be one of those. You're going to have it backwards. You're going to have everything. Remember, it's short, skinny, fat, fat, skinny. You hear that a lot. Batman folds. All sorts it's of folds. the folds. same hit every 45s. day. 45s. You're going to have a bunch of yesterday. stuff you're going to have Only to do here. Here's what they're saying. 45s. Remember that. And what honestly, if you could be here before boot camp, you're here before boot camp. Do this in your bed. Start making racks. Make 45s. It'll help you out boot camp. That's been the most challenging part. It's just getting along with everyone and trying getting to along with people. And putting. Hey, you're gonna have to get along with people. You're gonna really do. Or you're not gonna do good boot camp. You gotta get along with people. Some people have adjusted to that better than others. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is the after hours one. Handle it with yourselves. Trust me. Use your chain of command, group of command, whatever it is. Use it. Handle it with yourself. Trust me. What number? Then yell it. Twelve. Oh, there he goes. Being ultra RDC. Ultra RDC right there. This is right here. Being what they're gonna be seeing. Other than they could be cussing and screaming a little more than that, but he's just holding back. I could imagine that if he was behind camera where he's not cussing at you, man, that would be a lot. But man, that's pretty good. As much as you're gonna see, probably as close as you're gonna see to what you're gonna actually yell at. They can't argue with each other like they're still in high school and they realize that they're throwing women and air chairs and they need to handle amongst one another. I don't want to hear one recruit knocking on my door. Telling me, see me recruit yep. so and so did this. Handle it amongst Handle it about yourself. See, you use your chain of command. You boot camp, the whole Navy is use your chain of command. So, you whoever's camp, the rank above you, go to them. If they can't get there, go to the rank above them. They're not sure. That's what it is. I'll use your chain of command to rank above you. Maybe two ranks above you is the most you need to. Unless it's a certain situation. So, it's just a forming stage at the very beginning of boot camp where they learn how to come together and work. 1400, head on spot, same time entry, forward hold on spot. Understand? I'm kind of learning leadership. This channel for man in our, in our division. I am a head, uh, I'm a head PO. Just I clean the head, head PO. I, I, I understand made a deal. If one of us made it from head from the day one, the day it was all getting fired, they were promoted. What I don't enjoy is people not listening to what I think. Do what I tell them. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. You ended up passing these this year, but yeah. Hey, please. You're in the shower. Hey, you're in the shower. Swim crawl. 
it's actually not that bad. A lot of people don't know, if you don't know how to at least float, start learning because that's going to help you out a whole bunch. Better start learning it quickly. So yeah, no. <laughs> I barely passed the swim. You can't swim, start learning. So this is a baseline swim test to just make sure that they have the basic skills required to uh, survive much. and they would to find themselves in the that's ocean. That's what it is. So we walk in and I see the platform and I was like, okay. 10 feet is not that it, it really isn't. So we're just there, gonna have to go down, like, that's 10 take a deep feet. breath, oh. get through it. Okay, You'll be just fine. And I kind of hesitated, yeah. and before I knew it, I was over the edge. So once I finally got out of the pool and made my swim, I was like, okay, great. The worst part is over. And then we go to the other side, and we have to jump off again. And I was like, man, why didn't they tell us this before we do it? I would have reconsidered Don't, that. It's, it's not but that I bad. Um, but he did inform me that I needed to swim my it doesn't look as high as you're it is. Fine. You're, you're, you're swim again. I would swim before boot camp. If you go to the Navy and you know you're going to be enjoying Navy, the feeling, learn yes, how to the swim. Learn how to be able to promote, well. do that. Yeah. You get all videos all over the internet, internet about how to pass and pass, swim, how to do a prone float, do that, look at it. I think I might make a video on how to do a prone float, so just wait and see. I might make one for you. I did not enjoy that. Other people said that they loved it. I I hope I don't go overboard. We started off with 79 recruits, and going through the first couple of days, you yeah. lose a lot of recruits. Medical for is number medical one. Medical is the number one reason for uh, testing. A few for testing. And a lot of times medical is the number one process reason. back into training, so they'll continue on with yeah. another division. Sit home, like sit home. Boot camp's very challenging. We push the recruits to their limit and beyond what they think their limit is. Because when they're here at boot camp, if we can push them and push them and make them feel uncomfortable, but they keep succeeding and keep going through the mission, then those are going to be the sailors that are out there in the fleet yeah. ready to serve Absolutely. once they do graduate here. And if they find out that boot camp's not for them, it's better for us to filter out the people that are going to have an issue under pressure while they're here at boot camp before they get out there in the fleet and they need to perform and that's the point when they decide they break so boot camp's hard for that reason. Even though I've only been in um, boot camp for a week and some change I can see things turning and I, I see goals yeah. that I can set for myself. It makes me a lot more sure of the decision that I made I knew deep down inside I really, <coughs> really wanted to be. If you really want to be it, you're going to pass boot camp. So it That's going to be it. If you want to be there, you're going to pass it. If you don't, this was the you really don't, and you're going to find out if you really do myself. at boot camp. Whenever I was back at home, I used to judge myself a lot. I used to think, I'm not doing this right. What am I doing wrong in my life? And I don't have that feeling anymore. I, I always. Yeah. I'm satisfied. You turn the military, to, you actually feel like I'm you're really accomplishing satisfied. something. Yesterday feel like was our first Sometimes you get out there like, I'm not accomplishing something, so but when you get to boot camp, like, yeah, I'm absolutely accomplishing something in the Navy. Right, Navy isn't easy, it's not for US everybody. Navy That's the, the thing, left, a lot of people get, like, oh, wow, I'm going to go to the Navy. This. It's not for everybody, it really isn't. Military itself is not for everybody. So, yeah. If you really don't think it's My name is on here and it says US Navy. I'm doing it. I mean, it's 1% of the entire whole United States population is in the military, so yeah. I'm just, I'm ready for it, and I'm excited for my family to see me in my uniform, and for me to just get out of here. And that's, that's my number one inspiration. They feel better. Just, just Trust me. Seeing how my parents want to react to it, how they want to feel. Yeah, they feel so much better. How they want to see our change. It's making them proud. Can't wait for graduation for a reason, and, and, and I feel like it's, it's too long, it's so long away, but it's just knowing that I will make them proud. You make him proud. You make them very, very proud. That's pretty much it. Oh, the the twins, the twins separated. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. The twins separated. Well, okay, that was it. So yeah, here we go. That's what we have so far. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe below and thank you for watching. Please 
Continue to like and subscribe to my videos. Get the 150 subscribers for Christmas. Thank you.